when my dad left one time and um, he had to leave for like a few months or so, like six-ish, um, he missed my brother's birthday and that was really sad because he wasn't there. And then he almost missed my birthday but he didn't and we didn't know the exact day he was coming home so I was scared he wouldn't so it was kind of just like sad and scary. The day, day my little bro, my new brother came, came, my dad surprised us because he came back so I got happy but I was really sad that he was gone for like four or five years. You have to get used to it, like usually you as a family sitting down, but it's hard when it's just your mom and dad, it, and not your dad, and just your mom. So it's it was hard when I had a deployment. And my dad, he just deployed just before we got here, and we did not know when he was coming back, because he was supposed to come back in December, then it said April, and then he finally came back in October. Once one of your family members leaves for the army, it's just really hard, you can't let him go. It's kind of hard to adjust because you don't have your dad around to, to like tuck you in at night or, or pick you up from school. It's kind of I really am used to my dad leaving a lot because he's been in training for a long time and he would send me, send me stuff like uh, when he was in Germany and we were back in the States. He would just send my sister some candy or something from Germany and we would get used to it. Sometimes I just think he's just at work all day. And sometimes my dad, he um, he sent he sended um, like a a like little tiny CDs of him reading a book. And then he sended those to us since we were li really little. Yeah. And like a good way to like keep the pain away it's just like you can have like a picture of your mom or dad and like you can have like a stuffed animal they gave you my dad took a picture of himself and that's how I remember him easily but sometimes it's really sad for him to just go my mom um, usually says that we my family is better off with my dad because my uh, Two brothers and I, we act more mature without my dad. When my dad left for deployment, um, some of our neighbors, when he just left, they gave us uh, our dinners because they knew it was hard and kind of stressful because we had, my sister, I think, had ballet. All the time he just goes on like 24 hour shifts to help with the army and Sometimes he goes into deployment for a few months, and and I usually get used to it because he does it all the time, but like not too much. I don't feel happy, but at the same time, I feel sad for my mom because she has to deal like, she has to drive me and my brother to school, she has to pick us up, she has to do like a whole bunch of stuff for me and my brother, and I know it's tiring for her and it hurts her for my dad to be deployed for two months, but luckily he's coming back in one month. So yeah, in like it's in April, my dad's gonna leave. I, it's for about six months, I'm not sure. But if it is for six months, then he's probably gonna miss my birthday and that'll be a little sad. But it, and I'll, I'm kind of like used to it because he stays for work really late sometimes, so I don't see him for like two days anyways, but yeah. My dad is the center of my life, so when he leaves, all, all the stuff I do goes with him. I love, I was, he was the one who taught me all the sports that I play now, and I don't play them anymore because I don't have him to play catch. And I, I don't have a basketball court, I don't have anything but a football, and I can't play with anybody else in my family because they don't like football, so. My she mom, um, it's really tiring for her when my dad's gone because um, she usually does all the work, all the cooking, all um, getting us ready and it takes um, a long time for her because she has to wake up at 5.30, wake us up at 5.30 now. Yeah, like holidays without your dad or your mom is like really, really hard Don't. because they won't be there, there or like if 
they say, hey, I'm gonna be back before Christmas, um, but after when you like get everything ready and you're super happy, you realize when they don't come, it's kind of hurting and it hurts a lot. Sometimes and I feel like bad for my mom because sometimes I like hear her crying in her room and I'm just like, I feel like really bad because she, she like, without her, my dad, she, she doesn't have anyone to tell what's happening to and um, sometimes I start crying in my room because I, I'm like one of those sensitive kids that can't be like like five months without my dad. So um, you, if you feel bad for your dad um, that he's gone, don't because he'll be safe because there are a lot of um, people and friends that can help him be safe like they have a lot of medicines that they take with them and my like your mom um you could help out so uh, she wouldn't have to do all the um chores by yourself so uh when you uh see her doing something you do it you do it too because you would would you feel bad for your mom